Hello everyone, my name is Morgan and welcome back to Dandelion, which is brought to you! We have reached the final route, which is little white rabbit June. I kind of can't believe we're already at the last dandelion route. It's been a long journey, um, nowhere near quite as long as the dive ball lover's journey, <laughs> but still a journey nonetheless. And we have finally made it to the last route. Um, like Jihei, I don't really remember a lot about Jiyun, other than the fact that I think there was a lot of overlap between these two routes. Just because, it, I mean, Jihei and Jiyun are just like so intertwined as characters, you know? I also remember the first time my friend played this game, uh, she did Jiyun first and then Jiwoo. And I remember her complaining that like, it felt like there was almost no story in Jiyun's route. And then she went to Jiwoo and there's just like so much happening. So I don't know, maybe if there's like not that much story in this route, oh, that, that'd be kind of weird. But yes, considering that this is the last route, um. I would love for you guys to start like letting me know what your favorite moments from this series have been um, because at the end of this route I'm going to put together a big compilation of the best of Dandelion from all the routes combined. Um, obviously, <laughs> we still have a whole route to go full of moments yet, but if you have any moment that like really sticks out to you from the previous four routes, just, just let me know because <laughs> that's going to be a lot of videos for me to go through. But yeah, we're a few days away from the boys turning into humans as per usual. So yeah, I'll see you when that is happening. Okay, it's fall, and, and it's September 1st, and there he is. Final boy. Oh, EJ! You made like a singular appearance in the last route. <laughs> well, welcome back, you little weirdo. Hey, EJ! On my way home after the club activity is over, someone calls me from behind. Huh? Here! It's me! Remember? Your friend! You forgot about me last route. What's this? He just hands me a heavy looking paper bag. I have some apples! My mom bought too much again, and I don't think we can eat them all. Okay. Why's your mom always buying too many apples? Apples? He just mom seems to buy things too much often. <laughs> oh, okay. Last time, Hijay gave me some oranges, saying his mother bought too much. <laughs> Those went straight to Gion. Thanks! This is really nice of you. These are going straight to my little white rabbit. Hehe, <laughs> enjoy! Bye! Whatever the reason, I'm thankful that Hijay's thinking about me like this. It's because he loves you. Apples. Frankly, it's not my favorite fruit. The bag is pretty heavy. Can I really finish all of this? Oh, I don't think we've determined that uh, Gion likes apples yet. Ah, I have three rabbits. They can eat it. Thinking of my, thinking of the cute rabbits made me want to go home as soon as possible. I'm back! The two cats looked back and forth between me and the cat bowl, while the two rabbits that are always together turned their heads to glance at me. Jiwoo, who's always alone, glanced at me for a second, but soon turned his head away as if he's not interested in me. <laughs> you little student dare. Hmm, I wonder if rabbits like apples. I approached the rabbits, took one apple out of the bag, and laid it down on the floor. Here, it's an apple! I mean, I, I know that they're gonna be fine, but like... Heejung, you should really just like, Google things first to see if your rabbits can eat them before you just give them the food. You remember the whole incident where you almost killed half your pets? Because you gave them aloe juice and whatever seeds EJ gave us? Jihei and Jiwoo just stared at the apple on the floor. I only like cabbages. Are they not interested? Suddenly, Jiyun hops to where the apple is. He then circled around the apple. Whoa, he came close. Jiyun stood in front of the apple and looked up at me. The apple looks a little big next to Jiyun. Would you like some apples, Jiyun? I took the apple and went to the kitchen to grab a knife and a plate. Jiyun followed behind me. It's as if he understood me. I was going to peel the apple and feed it to him in the living room, but I guess letting him eat in the kitchen will make it easier for me to clean up. I picked Jiyun up and put him on the table. After peeling the apple, I sliced it into small pieces. It smells really sweet. It should be really good. Here, let me start your apple addiction! I gave Jiyun a piece and he began eating it enthusiastically. He's so cute. I go to I go to the sink to put the apple rind into the food disposer. <laughs> Words. I turned on the water to wash my hands that are sticky from cutting the apples. Should I give the should I give apples to the other rabbits too? <laughs> They're not addicted to them. Let's finally cut let's finally cut and bring them to the living room. Huh? As I looked back after uh, b b why can't words come out of my mouth right now? 
As I looked back after... <laughs> they still can't come out of my mouth. As I looked back after washing my hands... Oh wow, he... There he is! Hey, <laughs> cute. <laughs> there is a man on my table. Who? A boy whom I've never seen before was sitting on the kitchen table. Who are you? White hair, red eyes, and... He has rabbit ears on his head? W what country? No, what planet is he from? And how in the world is he sitting on my kitchen table? I changed. The boy murmured with an expressionless face. He's wearing clothes that look something like a noble from the Middle Ages would wear. <laughs> well, we learned last route that he is a prince. He's too unrealistic to be a human. He looks like a moving doll. And his red eyes are exactly the same as Jiyun's. Wait a minute. Jiyun? Where's Jiyun? The boy with the rabbit ears was sitting where Jiyun is supposed to be. What? What is going on? It can't be that Jiyun turned into a human. But maybe? I mean, if this happened to you, like, what other... What else would you have to consider? Like, if you set your rabbit down on top of a table, which is a very specific place, you turn around and you turn back and there's suddenly a human there with the same eyes, hair, and has rabbit ears. What? I feel like... What other alternative are you going to come to? Are you... Jiyun? I knew it was a stupid question, but I couldn't think of anything else right now. Yes. The boy whispered in a faint voice. Yes? What? Then he really turned into a human? The rabbit ears on his head. They're moving. No way. The ears are alive and moving. Uh, are you really Jiyun? Did Jiyun turn into a human? I asked again and the boy nodded sl sli silently. Don't tell me. Did he turn into a human by eating that apple? <laughs> I guess that would... Well, uh, yeah, I guess that is also another logical conclusion to make. A rabbit turned into human, and even talks. Is this even possible? What happened to you? How can you eat an apple and become a human? It's not a magic apple or anything. Uh, as far as you know, I gave you a magic apple, Heejong. Was there something in the apples that Heej gave to me? <laughs> yeah, that's why I told you to Google it before, because if you would have looked it up, you would have seen that apples turn rabbits into humans. No way. That can't be the case. They rationally calm down. I just return to my normal self as the time is up. What? What time? What are you talking about? The exotic-looking boy was with rabbit ears is talking in Korean. He's becoming impatient. Who, the wizard? He? What are you talking about? Are you... Really, Jiyun? The boy stopped talking. This is too much. He became a human because the time's up? The last statement made me even more confused. A rabbit that turns into a human, and he even talks fluently in Korean when he looks nothing like a Korean. What's going on? Were you a human from the beginning? T thank you for your answer. You still won't answer. Our dialogue's gonna be real awkward in the start, isn't it? Because you don't speak. Please tell me what's going on. Are you really Jiyun? I was an animal because that was the rule of the game. This is what I really look like. Game? You call an animal becoming a human a game? What game? The rules of the game? You call an animal becoming a human a game? I already said that! There are six participants in the game, including you. The fact that I'm back to my normal self means that you've made a decision. A decision? Oh, is that what it means? Really? See, that was never stated any time before. But, like, once you make a decision on a specific animals when they turn back, turn human, I thought it was just happened. Because... Unless it takes them a while to figure out who her decision is. Because normally they're all, like, competing for her affection after they become human. Wait a minute, did he just say that I am a participant of the game? I don't know anything about the game. Explain to me what you mean. What do you mean I made a decision? I didn't make any decision at all. 
ji closed his mouth again. Please tell me. I don't understand at all what you're talking about. And you never speak. I have no idea what's going on. The game, the participants, and my decision? Telling you more is against the rules. Rules? What rules? The rules of the game? Telling you more is against the rules. You already said that. Jiyun repeated the words monotonously, as if he is a robot with no emotions. It's the rules. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know how I can just accept this situation. My pet suddenly became a human and talks. No one would believe this. Ah. Uh, the boy stared at me. Who said ah? Is the, is, is the blog going to work? Oh, it was me that said ah. I feel like I said it in the Jiyun voice. His eyes are beautiful like rubies, but they somewhat feel empty. You look confused. <laughs> I I, thi I think that makes sense. He talked without any signs of expressions on his face. You are the heroine of this game. My role is to make you happy. The heroine of the game? Me? Jiyun jumped off the table. The others are there. Jiyun pointed to the living room. Uh, wait, explain to me what you just said? Heroin? To make me happy? I don't understand any of this. What is this? As soon as I walked into the living room, I could not believe what I saw. What? Who are you guys? And then it's going to be the same... Uh, scenario as in every route, so uh... See you later! Well, we gotta work on his points. Um, I think, like Jihei, Jihei's route... <laughs> be hard to say. In Jihei's route, I had to get one heart with Jiyun. I, there's the opposite in this route, I have to get one heart with Jihei. Um, I will work on that in my <laughs> spare time, because I think I have till February to do it. Um, also, I didn't have to worry about collecting any stamps in this route, because I, I apparently this is the one <laughs> character I collected all the stamps for the last time I played. I don't, I don't know how that happened. Um, but, let's see, what did he give me? Oh, he gave me this this dandelion. Um, he also gave me this marble. And then he gave me an anti-magnetism bracelet. I don't know where he got that. Hey, are you home? He's not home. Only Jisoo is here. Okay. There you are, talking to plants. <laughs> Let's talk. Or not. Plants. Communication is important need to talk to the plants often. Yeah, this is gonna be real awkward at the start. Ah, watching the education channel, are we? <laughs> are you learning? I'm once again gonna ask, how old are you, Jiyun? <laughs> okay, I think stare. you can stare at his eyes. Okay. I think for him it's just always his eyes and he's okay with it. I think he's an easy one. Nah. Uh. <laughs> Huh? Oh. Okay! Um, <laughs> good talk, June. Oh, let's go somewhere! Ooh, you wanna go to the movies and see Bad Power Rangers? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Why do I have to wait? Okay, I'll stay put. Hey, it is bad Power Rangers. It is a knockoff Power Rangers. I, I don't know why I was calling it bad Power Rangers. This movie. Okay. So far, Jihei is the only one to not like Power Rangers. What do you think of it? It, it was fun? Oh! <laughs> What's that face? It was interesting. <laughs> were you just... I'm gonna take that as that you were just so happy that I also liked it? <laughs> that was kind of cute. Okay, let's watch the ending credits. Are you done? Let's go home then. It was so so. I thought you liked it. I want to see something else again. Please open the door for me. Do you not know how to open doors either? Hi, right, let's talk. Apples. The fact that I'm here. It's a secret from Eddie. June, I don't know how to tell you this, but when I walked into this room, Jihei was also in here. He is in this room. He 
he can see you right now. <laughs> Let's stare at your eyes again. Uh-huh. Plants. Yeah, you said that already. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> oh, Jihoon. Man, and I thought Jihei was a man of few words. Hi. Oh. Yeah? Uh-huh. Oh. I thought it wasn't you because of that paper on your face. <laughs> oh my. Oh, Jihoon. Oh my. Let's go out again. Let go to the park? Yes. Okay! Such weather isn't so bad. Flowers. <laughs> uh, how do I communicate with you? They're pretty, or do you like flowers? Um, they're pretty? Yeah. But Eddie is more beautiful. <laughs> oh! Okay, I, I don't know how you- Do you like flowers? I'm not sure. I think they're pretty. Okay, well you just said you think they're pretty, so what if I already tell you they're pretty? I don't know. Which one's better? Let's draw. Is drawing fun? You're always drawing. I'm sleepy. It was a bit fun. Only a bit? Please open the door for me. Jihoon's at dress up. Why are you in my closet? A stare? Clothes? I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> good good talk! Okay, his, his points are maxed, so let's wait on some story. Okay. Is it Okay. I was like, it's not gonna be the one where it's like the one where it just like describes all, all the animals' personalities. Jihei and Jiyun. They always went everywhere together when they were rabbits, like a family. And it's no different even after they became humans. But the problem is... Eddie... Your ribbon is loose again. Again, what ribbon? Where's the ribbon? It looks very different now that they're humans. Of course, I'm not saying that it's bad. But it seems that unrealistic things are happening in front of my eyes every day. Everything is just... unfamiliar. You can't call me Eddie. Call me Jihei. Eddie. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Ugh, I guess it can't be hoped. Come to think of it, Jihoon calls Jihei Eddie. Is it a nickname? Or Jihei's real name? Jihei, is your real name Eddie? My lady. Yes? Please call me Jihei. <laughs> okay. He said in a quiet but firm voice. Maybe it's a nickname only between them two. After the animals turn into humans, they call me in many different ways. My lady, <laughs> that's Jihei, food giver, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> Jisoo, he jung. It's everyone but, and the rude rabbit even calls me stupid, or Dumbo, which <laughs> is my personal favorite, Dumbo. Uh, by the way, I've been curious. Are you two related or something? I was really curious. Brothers, relatives, friends, they can't be father and son. <laughs> I, I, they have some sort of age gap, but not one quite that big. But they seem like father and son. That's... Jihei trailed off. Is it something that he can't answer? Eddie and I are friends. Jihei looked at Jihoon with a surprised look. Friends? But Jihei calls Jihoon young master. I see. From the way that Jihei reacted, I don't think they're friends. I'm a little curious, but I somehow feel that I can't ask any further. Are rabbits always this quiet? <laughs> Jiwoo -ji isn't. Jihei and Jiyun always don't talk much. <laughs> There's my boy! Hi, I missed you! Guys, I, I hope you know that as soon as I finish this Let's Play, I'm going back in my free time <laughs> doing Jiwoo's Radicate because I miss him that much. I've told you he's one of my favorite characters ever. I love him so much. I miss him so much. And I need to like finish off with him in my personal time just so that he knows that I love him the most. <laughs> Anyways. Do not generalize rabbits. There's two, two are such goody two shoes. You hear me? I'm not quiet. Jiwoo came over to where we were holding a book in one hand. 
to think of it, Chi Woo is a rabbit, but not at all quiet. In fact, he's very noisy. That cat, the cats are noisy enough already. If those two are noisy as well, I would have gotten myself out of here. Where are Jisoo and Jian? How am I supposed to know? Those stupid cats always go out after eating. Hmm, then rabbits are not naturally quiet after all? I thought they were since ji and Jihei hardly ever talk. Thank God, the house finally doesn't smell like oranges now that the orange cat isn't here. The rabbit is too noisy. <laughs> I like his noisiness. <laughs> Maybe it's just... It's just Grass Kingdom things, you're quiet if you're from there. Wow, Jiyun just spoke. <laughs> wow, he really has, he re can really talk. Hey, stupid owner, come here for a second. Why? Why is he suddenly telling me to come? It's a bit suspicious. I don't care, I'll come, because I love you. Just come already, blockhead. Can't you understand these simple words? There he goes again. I follow Jiwoo into my room. Yay, alone time with the best boy! What is it? Hey, honestly, do you think they're normal? <laughs> I don't think anyone in this house is normal, sweetie. I, I, honestly, I think all of you are abnormal except me. Yeah. Jiwa looked as if he was at a loss for words at my honest answer. Are you kidding me? You're treating me and them as an equal? Do you know how rational and intelligent I am? I even memorized the periodic table, remember? No, I mean, having ears is not normal here. Don't judge them by their looks. Stop being so appearance-oriented and look at something else. Something else. Does he mean their personalities? Um, they both seem to lack social skills a bit. Judging from the color colors of their fur, they're either nobles or members of the royal family. You told me not to judge them by their looks. Don't make comments on what I'm saying, you idiot. <laughs> I love him. Oh, I've missed you so much, Jiwoo. What did I do wrong? Wait, so your world is a hierarchical society. Do you have the royal family, aristocrats, and commoners and such? I'll be breaking the rules if I tell you too much, but the white fur indicates that the kid is of noble birth. Jiyun? But rabbits are normally white. Do you expect things to be the same here and there? Having white fur means that you are close to the royal family. Royal family? Jiyun? Yes. I think Jihei's fur looks nobler. <laughs> it's hated there, though. Then can Jihei be a member of the royal family as well? It's unique, but it's not noble. If your entire fur is one of one color, it means that you're closer to, royal to royalty. But his, hair but his color is definitely not of the royal family. Then Jiyun is more noble. Judging from the outside, yeah, I think the kid is definitely a member of the royal family. And there is a high possibility that the big rabbit is a mix between a commoner and another class. Probably an aristocrat. Oh, there we go, I got it right that time. But yeah, you're, you're spot on, Ji Jiwoo. <laughs> we should have came to you last time when we had these questions. Royalty, a mix, aristocrat. Oh, I really have to think about that word. I imagine Jiyun dozing off on a throne and Jihei taking care of clovers in a small kingdom with rabbits jumping all around. By the way, is it okay for you to tell me these things? Aren't you violating the rules? You're always talk talking and breaking the rules, but... Oh, you're always talking about breaking the rules, but you're telling me a lot today. Well, they're all ab they've all been allowed to tell me about their pasts. It's against the rules if I tell you too much details, but the concept of a hierarchical society is in this country as well, so it's okay. And besides, I didn't tell you the truth. Those are just my assumptions. I'm not a hierarchical society. This is a democratic society. So why is that a problem? He looked around and lowered his voice. The fact that a rabbit of a high status ended up in this world makes me feel uneasy. Ended up in this world? Can't you... Tell me why you guys are here. How many times do I have to tell you? That's violating the rules. You're really dumb. <laughs> what's a violation and what's not? I'm confused too. You're confused because you're dumb. Anyway. <laughs> oh, gee woo. You better be careful. I have a bad feeling that you'll be in a sticky situation if you get involved with that rabbit. It's too late. Huh? Are you worried about me? <laughs> huh? Worried my butt. I'm busy enough taking care of myself. A anyway, I hope you follow with that smaller brain with that small brain of yours. 
<laughs> my Sundari bunny. Jiu snorted and left the room. Oh, how I missed him. Noble? A royal family? Rabbits? This seems like some sort of fairy tale. And then I went to bed. Hey, is, is this gonna be the... Yep, there are pros and cons to the animals turning human. This is the, the one we always always get. Finally, story! Oh, it took so long to get to this point. The, anim the animals are adapting surprisingly well to their new environment. Gion is the one who's adapting the fastest. He's always reading magazines and recently even sings along to the latest pop songs. The one that's least acclimated is Jiyun. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. He's always sitting at the balcony, staring at the plants at the, or the sky. He sometimes go, uh, goes out, but it's most almost always with Jihei. <laughs> I think that's how he was in his world, too, though. Sometimes I don't even know when where he is in the house because he's too quiet. Ha, I want a good Jisoo, ha ha. <laughs> I missed all the all these, like, interactions between all the characters. I feel like we haven't gotten them in a while. I can hear Jian's excited voice in my room. Is something interesting going on? I headed to the living room. Jisoo, you're busted again. You can't have the number exceed 21. Hey, this is difficult. I don't get it. I'm stupid. What is this? The animals are playing with white cards and with black and white dots on them. Those are playing cards? <laughs> yeah, they're all playing cards. That's, that's funny. Hey, I just got 23. It's bigger than your 11 and yet I lose. Jesus, sweetie, the game's called 21. <laughs> I told you, it doesn't matter. You should try to get as close to 21 as possible, but not over that. Hey, but 23 is still bigger than 21. <laughs> Sweetie, you can't go over 21. That That's the rules. No, Jisoo, that's the rule of the game. What kind of rule is that? This is bogus. G Gion? What what are you, you and Jisoo doing? Uh, hey, I'm glad you're here. Three can play this game, too. Come join us. Jisoo's so bad at it that he's boring me. Are you guys playing blackjack? Yep, that's correct. <laughs> I, the 21 is another name for it. I forget that it's also called blackjack. Let's play together. <laughs> well, the fact that Gion knows how to play blackjack. Play together? This is gambling. Gion is still young. Is he allowed to play... Again, Jion is definitely an adult. He can do this. Jion is the only one I'm not sure about. Sit here. It's more fun with three people. Jion, where did you get these cards? Also, it's we're just doing it in the house. So they're, not, they're not actually gambling anything. I got it from the lady who lives in front of the house that's next to that's next 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 to ours. Lady who lives in front of the house that's next 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 to ours. She's a really nice lady. She gives me lots of food too. I can't believe he became friends with. I can't believe he came, became friends with the lady that lives next, next, next to our house, and I don't even know her. And he got playing cards from her. How do you even know how to play this? <laughs> Gion's latest swindle. I'm gonna get that lady to give me playing cards. Did the lady teach you how to play this? No, I just watched her and her friends play and learned it by myself. Gion's been out a lot lately. Did he go watch them play? Blackjack? Did you really just watch? He Actually, I lent them some money and money when they ran out of it and got some interests. Oh, Gion. What? What did he just say? I knew it. Hey, don't be so serious. It was just a dollar or two. A dollar or two. But still. Besides, I didn't bet any money with Jisoo. This is just for funsies. Just for fun? Yeah, so play. Come on, please. I guess it'll be okay as long as money isn't involved. I don't know how to play this. It's just adding numbers. You'll learn soon enough. Okay. Although I'm not that good with numbers. <laughs> Same. Math is my enemy. So you're playing too? There's no way that I'll lose against Food Giver. I don't know, you're pretty dumb, Jisoo. Ha! Jisoo's busted again! Ha ha! Man, I was just winning! <laughs> Jisoo's so bad at it. Hey Jug, you win, so you get to play me now. Really? Jian's really good at this. 
He knows exactly when to hit and when to stand. That's amazing. How come every time I take a card, I exceed 21? Stead, I went again. Gion went again. This is making me pissed. Hey, food giver, try to win. But Gion's too good. Gion shuffled the cards triumphantly. Continuing to lose makes me determined to win. I'm just getting the hang of it now. I want to win too. Just then, the door leading to the balcony opened and Gion walked into the living room. Hi, little rabbit. Good morning. Gion greeted Gion. Gion, he must have been taking a nap on the balcony. Gion, did you have a nice nap? Yeah. Hey, little rabbit, do you want to join us? Huh? No, Gion's too young to play. How old is he? Gion is one thing, but Gion, I don't think it really matters if it's just a card game for fun and no money's involved. If you can, if how old what your age is. Gion sat on the couch with his signature vacant look on his face. Okay, I'll go first. Gion handed me the cards. He looked pretty triumphant. I think Gion will win again. Come on, food giver, try to win. Yeah, I won too, but. Hey, your turn. I hesitated. Should I hit or stand? This. Gion suddenly pointed to a card. Gion? Take it. Gion spoke quietly, but he sounded rather confident. Is he telling me to hit? But Gion probably doesn't even know the rules to this game. What's up with the rabbit? I didn't know he was interested in this kind of thing. But it won't hurt to trust Gion's judgment. Uh, here I go! I picked one card up. You're not gonna win. You're not going to win so easily. Then it's my turn. Hit! Oh no. <laughs> Jisoo is just sucking. Next, take this. Gion pointed to a card again. Should I continue to do as Gion says? Whoa, food giver, you're suddenly good. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just listening to G to Gion. Really? I'm just doing what Gion told me to. All right, I might win this time. I picked up a card again. What? What is it? Did you win? Huh? Is it hit or stand? Stand. Gion said in almost a whisper. Stand? Does Gion know the rules to this game? Why is the little rabbit answering? He jug hit or stand? Gion said stand, so stand. Uh, ah! This is suddenly not going very well. I think we're gonna lose. Uh, Gisu, I think you lost every time. This. Okay, here. Food giver, does the rabbit really know about this game? She won again. I, I don't think that was supposed to be uh, Hee Jung's line. Because <laughs> the only she in this room is Hee Jung. Hit or stand? Hit. Yeah, hit. Oh, wow, I want- I missed a dialogue. Is it- is it, is it gonna- uh, It works- okay. So I won ten times, Jisoo four, and Gion six. <laughs> well, we, we did determine in the last route that Jiyun has like some sort of magical powers. <laughs> did he use them somehow to help me win? I lost- <laughs> What are those eyes? That rabbit is good. How does he know all this? Is it his powers? That's true. Jiyun must have never played this game before, but how does he know? Jiyun, do you, you know about this game? No. Then how did you know? How does he know what to do when he doesn't even know the game rules? That's amazing. Was it just luck? But everything worked out too well. It couldn't be just luck. How did you know? My feelings. Feelings? Jiyun nodded slowly. He knew it by his feelings. I want apples. <laughs> well, that came out of nowhere. By his feelings. His powers, I'm guessing. I looked at Jiyun again. It's not just his looks. Everything about him is mysterious. Well, that was fun. <laughs> A game with the boys. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and end the first episode of Jiyun's route here, though. He's a funny little dude, you know? He, d he doesn't say very much, and that makes conversations really awkward. Um, I like that we got a lot of, uh, interaction with the other characters, too. I feel like, aside from Jiyun 
and a little bit of Jisoo. We didn't really get much of the other boys in the last drought, so it's been nice seeing everyone again. So yeah, this was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Jiyoon's route. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!